Thanks for tuning in to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. In this video, we're just going to show you uh, a little add-on for Flow Tool. So please watch one of my previous um, blogs that takes you through how to use Flow Tool. Uh, this is um, uh, basically uh, some additional parameters that were released on the MAG8000 uh, firmware revision 307 and above. So if we go back to the support page, I will put the link for this in the comments field. So please open this up to, to have a look at uh, the page you can see here. So in the previous video, we, we've talked on talked about flow tool, but then you'll see this service device description uh, 30350, and it mentions here the firmware that it's for. So if you download that, you'll see it will put this icon on your desktop with this any file and when you open this any file you can't really see anything but it's just the parameter mapping in in uh, text format uh, and again if we go back to the support page it tells you what to do um, it tells you to put that in the device description uh, for flow tool so so where is that on a windows 10 pc so um, if we have a open another window let's make this larger so let's go to C program files and then you'll see here flow tool and under device descriptions I've already put it into mine this is where you would drag and drop your file now when I did it it did ask uh, require admin rights to do that which I have on my PC um, so it looks like you'll need admin rights to, to put that into that folder uh, once you put that in what do you get if you open up flow tool I'm not actually online to a to a, a, a flow meter at, at the moment but if we have a look under the service menu we'll see some additional parameters here so we mentioned the electrode impedance so before we had the filter filtered electrode impedance well now there's an unfiltered which is quite handy to see the raw value to see how well the mag 8000 is, is filtering it or not filtering it and then we that have the uh, the potential okay and this suppress count value so um, really the potential is the difference so um, I'll post on the notes the inf information about this electrode potential parameter and how it can be used to, to fault find uh, let's say this is brand new for myself uh, but um, at the moment uh, this is all you need to be to aware of uh, these additional parameters and everything else at first glance looks pretty much the same the only thing that um, that may differ is we mentioned the insulation test now um, Siemens have, have made that available on the basic transmitter as of version 307 so that's probably changed in here as well so before that uh, you would have to go to the advanced transmitter and pay more money to get this functionality but now it's been added to the basic uh, so that's a, a a nice win for us all so we can do that insulation test on the lower cost transmitter so it's a very quick blog I just wanted to um, show you how to, to, to get that file in um, I hope it was useful and stay tuned for, for further updates thanks for listening